Welcome to Galactic Review. After refueling the engines in our last review, I've decided to venture out into the PC gaming expanse, where I've located a space station called Verde Station. Verde Station is a story-based game available on Steam, released in 2014 and developed by Dual Boot, an independent developer based in Texas, on Earth. Before we begin the review, please note that due to the story-based nature of this game, some minor spoilers may be unavoidable during the review, but I will refrain from revealing any major spoilers for the game. The game starts with you waking up to the sound of the alarm clock in your room on Verde Station. After you turn off the annoying thing, you walk over to the computer terminal and you're asked a series of questions to establish your station profile. I was going to import the results from my last space station questionnaire, but then I realized the questionnaire from that space station probably isn't compatible with Verde Station. It was an odd place. Anyway, now that we've established our profile, let's take a look around the room. There's a bathroom, complete with those three seashells that everyone in the future obviously knows how to use. And there's also a screen which will display a beautiful vista for our viewing pleasure. Very cool. Now it's time to go check out the greenhouse, which is part of our routine jobs here on Verde Station. It appears that we have several jobs that we are to perform on a regular basis. Honestly, these jobs sound pretty boring. I mean, I have automated systems on my ship that take care of this kind of stuff for me, but we'll go along with the routine for now and run a system check. The system check reports that the water systems in the greenhouse are functional, so let's go check out the next area. This is the lounge area where you can hang out, relax, and arrange all the books into a domino setup, apparently. Well, knocking them down is strangely satisfying, so kudos to whomever set them up. Looks like someone had a little camp set up under the stairs. Let's go poking around in their things. Hmm, David Richardson. I wonder if he set up the books. Let's pop this disc in the computer terminal and see what it says. It seems David is a former water and sewage engineer who found a fulfilling life on New Yondala, wherever that is. I'd venture a guess that David installed the water system in the greenhouse, perhaps. There are several discs like this in the game, which deliver a portion of the game's narrative. Beyond the lounge, we make our way into the kitchen, where we can get some of that delicious food product. We can just throw it into the microwave and let it warm up. You know, this space station gets a little boring after a while. Let's try doing something nutty, like putting glass in the disposal that is clearly marked no glass. Hmm, seems like nothing happened. That was uneventful. Oh well, this is interesting. Looking out of the kitchen window, I see a red light off in the distance. I wonder if it's another space station or something. Well, since we don't have access to the food storage area, let's go back to the greenhouse and see if everything is still functioning normally. Well, this is strange. There are books here now, and it seems someone has named each of the plants with post-it notes. But I'm the only person on the station, right? At this point in the review, I won't go any deeper into the game's narrative, because I think it's worth it to go ahead and play through it if you're interested. The gameplay itself is sparse, as we've seen, but it's driven by curiosity and exploration. Some might call these types of games walking simulators, although a less pejorative sounding term might be narrative exploration game. The visuals and sound are adequate and help facilitate the atmosphere, letting you become more immersed in the experience. The controls are super basic and easy to understand, so you shouldn't have any problem getting started on your tasks at Verde Station. Overall, I'd say that this game is an enjoyable little experience that you should be able to pick up on Steam for a fair price. It's an interesting narrative experience that you can just zone into for around a half an hour and familiarize yourself with a curious space station. Well, that's all for this Galactic Review. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you liked the video, please go ahead and let me know down below. And if you want to continue to explore the galaxy of media with me, please go ahead and subscribe. Captain Shinobi signing out.